took a, uh, a tributary off the Tomrid's uh, Vara into Rune Seldik, who was really uh, giving us an in-depth explanation of the... Uh, I'm going to the door open for a few minutes. Somebody stuck it there. In-depth of explanation of the... the uh, just three or four words of the Tamar Dvara, which fascinated me, which is that in my cholai, that as a person um, eats, if you're in the right frame, if you're in the right uh, place, so the eating itself is kosher hashchina imachilose. Pointed out this, the Tamar Dvara, Ramar Moshe Kodavara, is the makor of this term. This term doesn't exist before him. Of the idea of being kosher as hashchina to his food, uh, taking the shechina and anchoring it down into your world, into your food, and somehow dafka, you would think it would be asceticism, which would be kosher the shechina, but it's not the way it goes because asceticism is leaving kashmi is out of the picture, and then the shechina is not yoyred lamata measar itzvachim like the gemara says in Zukkah. But once I'm, I'm, let's say, bringing a carbon. So I'm getting very flashics about this, you know, like I'm bringing down a fire and smell and, you know, and, and animals and all that, uh, wheat, all the, all the uh, major uh, sort of pieces of gashmis in this world. So now I'm kosher, I'm taking the shechina, I'm anchoring it down into this world. Um, so I pointed out just to review, refresh our minds, that <coughs> this is the, the, um, the clear shot in the Gemara and Brachas Lamed Hay, which talks about um, the Kol Eichel Kol Anenu Minaylam Azeb Alay Bracha Ki Lu Goyzel Asu Lahanes Minaylam Azeb Alay Bracha. That the Bracha, if you recall, a week or two ago I read, we went together the words of Rav Kook, but it, that that it's the um, it's the Bracha which makes Hashem Nochach. Meaning that um, there's food, there's the Shechina, this world, the next world. The concept here is to be kosher, is to, is to connect it. This is not just like a hidr for tzaddikim. This is the purpose of the whole world. The, the purpose of our life, the purpose of our living, the purpose of our existence, um, and therefore, kolam mistoy facharav, eating and uh, drinking, and whatever, whatever um, indulgements and gashmis that we have, it's all about... Um, Taking that Bahaya Hashem Lamela Hakol Haaretz, Mala Haaretz Day. Otherwise, the, the job can be done by Malachim. The, the, the purpose, our purpose, as Rukh pointed out, in being at Selam Alakim and created in that sort of a fashion of Selam Alakim, is to finish the job, to do the godly stuff. And But our job is in the world of Gashmias. If we uh, become great Sadikim and do stuff in the Shemaim, that's good, so we become like a malach, but, but um, that's not our tachlis. Our tachlis is here. This is our job. Our job is on the, in the field, on the ground, right? There's a certain, you know, a certain reality on the ground that has to become. And by the way, that is, um, I'm just reviewing many of the th things that we learned from Arichas, that is ultimately the, the, um, what we're davening for with the geula. The whole thing of the geula is malach or its day. That, that there is no dichotomy between Olam Hazet and the Shemayim, between Shemayim and Varetz. There should, there should not be that separation. That separation, um, and, and if there is a separation, that means simply that we're taking that which is supposed to be um, Malahar as day, and we're taking it for ourselves. See, a new, a new and important way of understanding the Chet of Adam Arisha was... Not that he ate treif, but he stole. It was it was a mice of Ganefa. Um, why was it a mice of Ganefa? Because here's everything in the God, you know, you can use for yourself. This you're not supposed to use. That was a perspective for Adam Arisha on using all, a perfect world, using it all for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but by leaving this one tree, this one Eitz Adas, only for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that was a... a it was like a simon, if you will, that everything that I'm doing is Laman Hashem. Once I take from that, that was the ultimate in taking that which is Bashamayim for yourself. You so, so taking it for yourself 
is the big Isser, and, and that's, that's like an Isser of Geneva. And as the Ramchal says in Darach Hashem, the first uh, ten chapters of Darach Hashem, all tells us a very simple Yisoyed, that what we want with the Geula throughout history, as there have been different possibilities in the, in the uh, development of Mashiach and the Geula, it's all one very simple thing. It's all getting back to Adam Arishim Koyda Machet. That's what the Ramchal's big Yisoyed, getting back to Adam Arishim Koyda Machet. How do you do that? So the, the nice way of saying it is by making a bracha. Because when we don't make a bracha, we're doing the chet of the Eitz Hadas. Kilu goizel. Mikud shabrichu. Miknaz Yisrael. You're goizel. You're taking it for yourself. So the bracha, beautifully, um, Baruch Atah Hashem, is bringing the Atah Hashem so noichach, so personal. You know, it's not, it's not Baruch Hu, Baruch Hu, Baruch Atah Hashem, Benochach, is actually taking the Shechina and being kosher it, so, so it all fits in. So that's that's a, a small um, postage stamp of what we've been learning. It was a demonstration. It's, it's, it's true that our mycin has a dual effect, though, here and in Shemayim. Without question. But our job is here. I always think about, like, if you have an employee, like a... a a salesman, you know, who's out there and, and trying to sell your product, and he keeps on getting involved in the in the uh, development part of it, and the you know, uh, e even if he has something valuable to say, it might be worth talking to. Him, but that's not your world. You're, you know, just get up there and sell. Like everybody wants to be a philosopher, like it just gonna sell. So, like, that's that's why. By the way, I'm just I'm saying such simple uh, fundamental things. So that's why Judaism is all an action religion. You, you could you could. Um, it could so easily be, it would be so much more mustafra, l'chara, bashka for if if Judaism would be about how you feel and how you, uh, you know, but it would be a sort of, and it was a, what Christianity did as a robbed, it took Yiddishkeit, sans nice, which is, which is a, a pellet, but, uh, I mean, it's a pellet, like how, how, how stupid that is, because it's so connected, the whole concept. Of, of of what of what the malchus is. That's, this is the midas malchus, and this is midas hamashiach, and it's all about what we're doing now. Does that have an effect on the, the Shabbat? Of course it does. That's the whole point. But the, the whole idea is that this is what we're what we're working on is Project Earth. That's what we're working on, and uh, um, technically it's about making a bracha, but it's, it's it's so much more than that. It's becoming as Ritzadik learns, and this is what we learned uh, on last week, that it's becoming a Merkava for the Shechina. Ha'ava is hein hein ha-Merkava. Avram Yitzhak V'yakov. What does it mean? It's something very, very simple, simple to say. And that is that they, they dedicated their entire life to the Malahar It's Deya. So, you know, it was very, very clear that here was a world which was completely in the wrong direction, completely pagan, and completely taking it for itself. A door of a mabul, a door, of, you know, like after the mabul, a door after, everything was was for themselves, and then Avraham Avinu said, "No, um, let's start a movement, which is a messianic movement." That's what Avraham Avinu did. He started a messianic movement. They thought that Noah. We're going to learn about this. What they thought? I mean, Lamach thought, or Nama thought that Noah would would be Masak and Zay Yenach Hamenu. He's going to be Machaper. Here's, here's a kid they felt somehow that Baruch HaKodesh, here was a Noah born in the world, that he's somehow going to create this Nechama for the Chet. Noah, Nechama. He could have, right? He and he could have. And he would have. And he did. Except for the fact that he wasn't able to spread it to others. He did, he did do it for himself. He could start a movement. We needed an Avram Avinu to come and be Masak in that and turn it into a movement. And Avraham Avinu had a follow. I mean, it was just just an amazing thing. You see, what to be the um, the Talmidim and the, and the Zera of Avraham means? Um, why does it mean like the Neviim call him to be an Or Lagoy? Because that's that's what Avraham Avinu did. It's it's um, to create this movement to the world, which is a messianic movement. It's a, it's a movement of Geula. It's a movement of getting everything back um, to the Koyda Machet. See and. Um, I just want to point out something that, that the, the, the Dor Hamabel, which was the antithesis of this, the Dor of Hapaloga, Nasa Lanu Shem, 
Go nimna migdal vinasa lon nushay. Antithesis of this. Um, but it's interesting that the Dara Mabul Chazal say from the Psukim, why Nechtam Zardinam Ella? I'll guess. Why I guess why is that worse than Kilo Arayas? Back to the original sin. Oh, exactly. Because because Gezel is Bidiuk the Chet of Adam In other words, get, you know, if, if I'm taking something that's not mine from you, so besides for the fact I'm violating you, I'm, I'm, this is the ultimate statement of is I'm in it for myself. <laughs> I'm in it for me. It, it doesn't make a difference. There's no, there's no Hakash Baruch there's no you, there's no anything, it's just me. So Lenechtam Zardinam El Gezel means that, that the whole, when, if you're going to steal from each other, that means you completely don't get it. The whole world is all Shavet. Gile Arias, you know, it doesn't necessarily cause the destruction of the world because a person has a taiva. You know, but, but it's also bad. You're stealing <laughs> from Hashem. It's also right? bad. No, but, but, like, Gezel is, is uh, you know, why Nechtam Zardina Melala Gezel. It shows that you, it wasn't just your Yetzirah. You completely don't get it. You don't understand your purpose in this world. That's the Pshat. And, 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 and Noach did understand it, at least for himself. And they thought that would be a gula. Zayi Nachamenu. This will be the Nachama. So what, what we learned, um, let me just, I'm going to glance over because I really want to get to the next piece. <clears throat> Which page is this one? In here, it's on page 52 still. Okay, it's still 52. I got a schuss last week. The reason there was no shear is that I was a, a, a sandik at uh, Tubris. <clears throat> Chris Acherbris, uh, Eli Behar, and then um, Yaakov Spiro. Chris. So, um, same mile. <laughs> Learn hard enough, I went here, same mile. The model told me he never did a uh, two bris in one day with one sandik except for Rav Yashiv. <laughs> so don't mess. <laughs> but, but, I, but I was thinking, like, like what's the, ka- the kavana of being a sandik? Like, what's, what's the, so the kavana is that the, 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 uh, the baby is kilo carbon and the sandik is the mizbeach. So, you know, there's, there's a meditation here of, you know, how does it feel like to be a Mizbeach? <laughs> like, I am a Mizbeach. I'm getting burned. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel like? I have a table. We say, Shulchan Asher Lifnei Hashem, the Torah Dvar said, that the table you eat on, Dafka, not even the table you learn on, but the table you eat on is a Mizbeach. Because that's where um, your food is coming, and that's where you're taking, look what's going on here, the transformation of Gashmias to Ruchmias is taking place on that table. Making brachas, you're eating the shemayim. You're kosher ashchina imachilasa. This is the transformation spot, the holy spot, the table. <coughs> when you're a sandik, that that's your lap. The transformation from taking a kid, chol, to kodesh, Yisrael. Bikari shmoi be Yisrael. You can't say bikari shmoi be Yisrael bepashtus until there's a bris. Even though. Do you know that um, from the, by the letter of the law, there's no you're allowed to name a baby before a bris. You know, you, you ever see like um, the, the Zilberman's people in the old city? So when they send out an invitation to a, a bris, they say, um, "We request the honor of your presence of the bris of Yosef." Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they, they say his name in the invitation to the bris. Like, that's what they do. Like, just <laughs> well, <laughs> Consider trading. Huh? It's like insider trading. Yeah, well, no, I mean, it's it's like, like who says that you have to wait till the bris? So, um, so I do because the Yikarish Shmoi be Yisrael is that you're not a full Yisrael until you have the bris. That, that's the that's the touch of it. I'm not I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, you know a gadol that can argue with any kind of a derech, but I just know the bit of Yisrael is a bit of Yisrael. There's a reason for it. So, so the, the, the kavana of Sandakois, I feel, is the same kavana as the Zashulchan Asher Libnei Hashem, that all of a sudden I become a keli for transferring Gashmias and Teruchmias. I'm taking, I'm taking Chol and I'm turning it into Kodesh. 
it's it's a it's a, um, it's a huge kavana. To, it's a difficult kavana, by the way, to have. It's a difficult kavana to have, and the, and the kavana is there's a school of even bracha by a sandik. You know, like you have a sandik, you become a big rebbe. Everybody asks you for a bracha and everything. But the tight of it is that you're now in the mode of of taking um, something which is gashmi and turning into ruchni. Now, person comes to you and says. You know, I'm, I'm suffering from a certain machala. Well, you know, okay, you're suffering from a certain machala, but the Shekhinah doesn't have to suffer from that machala. So, Laman Hashem, heal this person. Laman Hashem, give them Shalom Bayis, because without Shalom Bayis, how are you supposed to be over this Hashem? Without Parnasa, how are you supposed to be over this Hashem? These are, these are almost impossible Nasyonis to deal with. So, so the, the Koach of Bracha is, is very strong because you are now a Mizbeach. And you get to be a Mizbeach all day long. So I could take the Gashmi's problem, turn it into Hashem's problem by, by, by putting it on the Mizbeach, and then, and then being makr of it from there. That's, I, I believe that's the uh, Koach HaBrach. So, so we learned of Zeh HaMarkava, and a Tamil Chacham, Reb Tzaddik says, um, has a din like a Beis HaMikdash. Beis HaMikdash is exactly that. It's not just what everybody says so poetically. <coughs> Where heaven touches earth, it's it's what not it's where earth becomes heaven, and heaven becomes earth. It's 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 not just the poetry. In other words, this is the, this is the transformation place right here. You're turning Yisoid into Malchus. You're turning Yisoid into Malchus. Yosef into Yehuda, to speak in our partios like the, it, it, the to take to take it and to bring it into the earth. Yosef Haya b'Mitzrayim. In Mitzrayim, that's where he had to be. Uh, yeah. Just another thing, while I'm, while I'm doing this, it's, it's so interesting, and I always come back to it, how Avraham Avinu preferred Yishmael to Yitzchak. Lu Yishmael yichya lefanecha. It's enough, I don't need a Yitzchak, that's what he says. I don't need a Yitzchak, I'm good with Yishmael. The paradom, the roi v'keshes. Yitzchak was happy with an Esav. I'll give him the bracha. Yaakov preferred Yosef. Not that he was an ace of very Yishmael, but every, every one of these Avos understood that the direction that we need to be moving in to make the final ticket for Mashiach is down, not up. Yaakov, he's a himmel bench. <laughs> Yosef, I need a guy in the field. I want a guy in the field. That's what I want. Esav was in the field. A, a person who knows how to hunt. Now the the problem with it was what the what the wives picked up, you know, like like you know the Gemara says that um, you know if you don't you know, ish she she touches up the guests, <laughs> like what what's going on over here like like the noshim chapt yeah that's all very good Avraham and Yitzchak and but Yirash Yishmael I believe Yitzchak that that his kavod is all wrong and Esav's kavod is all wrong Yosef's kavod was was good, but they didn't think that you, you, the brothers didn't think that his kavanah was good. I, I, I was just a bedayik in the pasuk bedayik. I mean, uh, uh, so it's so interesting that um, it says when that when Yosef sent them out, and the and the uh, and, and they came back the twelve they went through the twelve sha'are ha'ir of Mitzrayim, so they were looking for Yosef. Rashi says, where were they looking for him in the kupa shel <laughs> This was their head. <laughs> their head was like, Yosef, yeah, you know, where's our brother Yosef? Like, we missed the guy. Like, he's off the derach, you know, the Kupa Shilzai. He's like, like, where can we find Yosef? And that's why they, they tried, you know, that's, that was the whole Bechira was about. You know, so probably, you know, probably, like, where am I going to find my brother Yosef? You know, so I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to go down to, to Times Square and go one block back to the seediest area, and maybe that's where I'm going to find Yosef. Did it, Bella? Yosef was the tzaddik, you know. Yosef was the tzaddik hadar, you know. Yosef was me to say you sewed, and they weren't, they weren't getting it, you know. Ani Yosef, Ani Yosef. It was all about the, you know, who Yosef was. That the Demus, Demus Yaakov was standing in front of him. He was the one who resisted every chad, not Yehuda. <laughs> he was the one who was able to resist everything. But the, just the the, the, the kuda was the, the kuda I'm trying to say is that Yaakov preferred. Yosef, because he went down, not up. The achila, the tish, 
But Vayigash Yehuda means it was starting to go back up again. That's correct. That is correct. Now, um, so, so that's what, it, so, so that's what Reb Tzadik told us last week, that it's Tzadik is Dugmas HaMizbeach. Dugmas HaMizbeach. Dugmas HaMizbeach means, he says, if you, here's his examples, as Chazal, Rosh Hashanah Yud Ches, Shkula Misasen Shal Sadikim Kisrei Fas Beis Elikeinu. Um, Gemar Numa Ayin Aleph. I'm just skipping on page 52. Hamemala Greinim Shel Talmud Chacham Yayin Kimakriv Nesachim. If you look in the second column, it's like you're bringing the Sachim. Ksuvas Kufhe. Hamevi Dorin L'Talmud Chacham Kilu Hikriv Bikurim. Hakol Kenal. It all comes back to the same idea that the Talmud Chacham is that Mizbeach. He's the Sandak. Talmud Chacham is what's, who's taking the Gashmi, is not shunning it, but he's taking the Gashmi, is turning into Ruchnius. And here we learned the Medrash the, um, in the Vayikarabah Rabba that Hillel, do you recall? Hillel, after the Shear, would walk out of the, the base Medrash with his Talmudim and tell him, Where are you going? We're going home. Where are you going? And he said, I'm going to breakfast, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to, so, like, you're, you're a tzaddik, you're not supposed to be doing those things. So he said, no, you day Adam Nefesh Bebta, I have to take care of the achsanya that I have. He, he understood that what's, what's I, now we, we learned, and now I have to take care of the achsanya. By the way, it's so, um, I'm just saying for this Hillel, not only do you see the importance of, um, of you know, being Shomer Saguf, but it's possibly the biggest mitzvah <laughs> being Shomer, this is something that, you know, like, um, you know, Halavai, I would have realized when I was 18 instead of it. Uh, no kidding. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it before it gets too late, you know, but um, not everything's reversible, but Hillel understood. It was Hillel, he was giving Shigur, by the way, so uh, he was he was between, somewhere between um, 80 and 120. <laughs> you know, so, uh, because it says uh, 40 years he learned, 40 years but pragmatia, and 40 years he was uh, Shabbos Yisrael. So this, this, these stories of Hillel were all from 80 to 120. So, so um, when he was t doing exercise and taking care of his goof, it was an old man, and, and he had to do that. Also an old man that had Titus on when he took care of your goof. But the, there's the, the, the Shaklavataria there is a, is a very clear Shaklavataria between the Talmudim and Hillel. No, this is not, to, to me, I'm by Madrega, as a Madrega that we should all be on, taking care of the goof is the, is the biggest avodas Hashem I could do. This is, this is Esav done right. This is Yishmael done right. This is, this is what the avos really want. This is Yosef. And, and Reb Tzadik says in this beautiful bracket, the uh, five lines from the bottom of the column, the gam haya mi zera beis David k'nai to Hillel is from zera beis David. V'shamati b'zeh, whenever Reb Tzadik says v'shamati, he means the Yisbetcher. Shemati b'zeh kizel madregas beis David b'yichud. The whole madrega of beis David, somebody's from beis David, Mashiach, Hillel, David Amelach, whoever's from beis David, they're, they're, what their specialty is um, taking Gashmis and turning it into Ruchmias. Building a beis hamikdash, Molar is Deya, bringing the Shechina into this world. That's what they're there for. That's, there's, there's nobody who's better at this than, than the mouth was based on it, hence Hilla. Hence Hilla. So now let's, let's learn together. Um, on page 53, I think you have to turn over your page and you have one up here. Malachain Isa, Bezoyar, Kitzadik Humadrega Shabbos. Zoyar says, Lomashana Shabbos, Lomashana Tzadik. Same thing. Same thing. I had a friend of Muncie, his name was um, Avram Shabbos. They told me it was his last name, Shabbos. He's a rabbi of Israel. And, uh, his grandfather was a chacham. And they called him Shabbos, who's named after Avram Shabbos, because the whole week was Shabbos. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean he, didn't, he didn't do any malach, he didn't write, he wrote Svarim. Because it would be the whole week of Shabbos. There was a madrig of Shabbos. They called him, they called Avram Shabbos. Not Micah Shabbos, Shabbos. <laughs> Uh, what, what, what does it mean that, that to be in the beginning of Shabbos? Shabbos is going to explain is this, this is just like a, a fascinating day where you can take Gashmias 
enjoy the Gashmius, the Karasa the Shabbos Oneg. And, and that Oneg Gufa is the Medayik in this. Ois Hila Olmeyad Ben Yuvenechem. The ois is not in the Isser Malacha, the Medayik in the Psukim. The ois is, is in the Oneg Shabbos. What's an ois? That, like you keep a Shabbos. This is what Hashem said. This is, this is the, um, not just the celebration, but the, 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 the sign that you are, have a particular purpose in this world. Os he leomayad, a uniform badge. Os he leomayad beiniu beinechem. Why? Because when you're, when you're having Onek Shabbos, what you're doing is I'm taking the Gashmias, I'm putting it on a Mizbeach called Shabbos, and I'm, and I'm turning it into Ruchnias, I'm turning it into covered Shabbos. Is it such a gavaldic thing to do? Like the operators that we are. And that's where the O lies. That's where the, that's where the, the purpose of our, of our existence lies in Shabbos. So what a tzaddik does all week, all of us can do on Shabbos. So, so here we come into a, a, a fascinating thing. The Lachain, Hillel, we just spoke about Hillel. Al Shem Adregasai. Because of his madrega, ha-yoymer Baruch Hashem yoym yoym yamaslanu. Remember the Gemara. The Gemara says that. Um, sorry, one side is better. Good to read it. So you have Shabbos. Gemara says here. Tanya, Amr Olav, famous Gemar, Amr Olav al Shamai Hazake, call Yamav Hayoicha Lichvai Chavis. Told all, all week you would eat Lichvai Chavis. How do you do that? Matzah Behemah Noah went to the shuk, he said, Oh, that's a Gishmak Behemah, I'll buy it, I'll take it. I'm there, and he would say, I'm holding this for Chavis, Zula Chavis. Next day he's in the shuk, he sees a nicer chicken. So he eats the one that he bought for Shabbos originally and he keeps the next one for Shabbos. Well, so the whole week he's thinking Shabbos, 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 Shabbos. Until by the end of the week, he gets the, uh, the highest level chicken possible. But what about Hillel? So the Gemara, he had a different thing. <laughs> Come on. What does it mean? Um, and what I find today, like I'm not so from, I'm not saying this is Zulu Shabbos. Eat it today. Shabbos, Hashem will help for Shabbos. On Friday, I'll find a good fish for Shabbos. So, let me do So who's Mahabit Shabbos more? Hill or Shammai? Shammai's thinking Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos. And Hill, okay, Shabbos, Shabbos. So, I mean, we say in this Miros, that we should keep Shabbos like Hillel and not like Shammai. That's what we say. Or is he or Chay Hashem? That's where it is, right? So, what's, which, so which one are we supposed to do? So the shot is, I'm just giving you a, a, a preview of, of what we're going to read in a minute, that Shammai Hazakein was always thinking about Shabbos. Hillel was always Shabbos. He was Shabbos all week long. 
He wasn't working toward Shabbos. He, 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 was, he was already there in Shabbos. Because the whole point of Shabbos is Mizbeach. You're transferring every, transforming everything to Hashem. So I don't have to wait for Saturday. Because tzaddikim are dumi de mizbeach. Tzaddikim are dumi de beis hamikdash. Beis tovit. But beis tovit. Hillel was beis tovit. Shammai was not beis tovit. By me, it's all Shabbos. It's a Shabbos with a heter malacha. Which is good. It's the best Shabbos you could possibly have. <laughs> it's not, it's not, I don't mean it's like driving to Shul Shabbos. <laughs> but it's the best Shabbos you could possibly have because you can bring it out even further. Mabu show next Shabbos on Tuesday. So, I always think there's people like, what? Why don't they drive to Shul on Sunday? <laughs> Every Monday. <laughs> why does Daf got Shabbos? They need to drive. Well, it's important we go to Shul, so we drive. So we go to Shul on Sunday. But, so, but uh, the, the <laughs> so interesting, yeah. <laughs> no, but that's, a, that's an extraordinary madriga, though, because it means that even when it's not Shabbos, the ability to take the oinig of the Misa and transform that into a Davar Ruchus. Uh -huh. And isn't that what we see from the Medrash Rabbah? The hill walked out of his shear and he's not taking a shower. Why? Because it's Shabbos. <laughs> no. Rabbi, you're 85 years old. Maybe you're losing it a little bit. It's Sunday, right? <laughs> no? It's Shabbos. It's Shabbos. So, so take a look at the Lushan inside here. That's Rip Tzaddik. Because of who he was and what he was, I don't need Shabbos, Baruch Hashem, Yoim Yoim, every day, every day. This that Hashem was straight in front of him. I'm eating lunch with HaKadosh Baruch. Like the Torah Dvarah says, Koysher Ashchino Yimachilose. Noichach, Noichach, I mean, Hashem Yisbarach Nasa Etzlai Kibrecha. It was an ongoing wellspring. She'enoi poisekes u kibirchas yoyim hashabos. Shinamar, what does it say in Shabbos? Vayivorech Hashem Elikim is yoyim hashashvi. Meaning that Shabbos is a brecha. Shabbos is a source of brecha. See, if if he's also to be a sandik, that's Shabbos. And on, when, when do you bless your children? Shabbos. Shabbos. Because, because there's, there's bracha. The bracha of, the, this is the biggest bracha, turning gashmis into ruchmas. This is, this is what bracha means. So you should do it at the table. Yes. yes. But, no, perfect. Yeah. But, 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 but not, not just, what I'm saying, it's not just like you get a bracha on Shabbos. That's what the word bracha means. The word bracha means that, that oh, you know, the gashmis is flowing and becoming ruchnius and therefore it's eternal. Makar abracha. Makar abracha. Everything, by the way, everything, all the, the pay attention this week to use mirrors, pay attention to Lukhadoiti. Pay attention, it's all mamish what it says. Shabbos, Shabbos is oisi, that this is this is the sign that you're in it for me. This is where um, we, we there's a there's a mini kapara, if you will, or a mini tikkun for the chet of the eight sadas. On Shabbos, even even under immersion, the fact that I'm refraining from halacha means I'm refraining from my own needs, and and the fact that I'm having oneg, which is all my own needs, is meaning I'm taking the oneg and giving it to others. It's even to sleep. Harizal hoyah yashin b'shabbos. Shomer shabbos is the. Hmm. He's a shomer shabbos. Shomer shabbos. What what what's in learning? It seems like we're starting with ruchnius, and. Where's the gashmis? Where, where's the? Uh, if you don't learn the halacha, there isn't. Learning, learning, as the Talmud Torah says in the sequence, you remember, that learning hasn't come yet to this madrig of eating. <laughs> the, the the learning is just getting there, because learning is, is as you say, Hakadosh Baruch Hu talking to us, coming down. Um, now we're taking something and we're we're transforming it. This is where the action is, and then learning halacha. And practicing halacha, which was the derech, by the way, of Klai Yisrael um, since the beginning of, since Har Sinai, that the pshat is, la suke shmaitza, I'll leave it to hilchasa, because otherwise it's, it's up there. Okay, it's a good exercise to, to learn how to learn, I guess, learn how to think. But, but the ultimate learning, I say people ask me uh, twice a week, like, you know, if I, I have a, I, what should I learn? Like, I'm, I'm not, a, not, not only am I not a Rosh Hashiva, but I'm like, 
I'm the opposite, <laughs> like the opposite, because, you know, what should you learn? You should, I'm telling you, I'm telling you what you should learn, tell you what I learned, tell you what you should learn, you should learn um, an Amada day of Gemara, if you can, with Rashi and selected Taisus and the Rif and the Rosh and the Ran and the Tur and the Beis Yosem and the Shulchan Aruch and the Mishnah Baruch. That's what you should learn every day. And um, I, I guarantee you that within six weeks you'll be a Tamil Chacham. Or at least a bigger Tamil Chacham that... <laughs> And, and within a few years, you're... you're, you're uh, to start with the Pasuk and get to the Mishnah Bur, um, and, and then automatically do it. Now, now you're doing... This is the way Jews learn, on one form or another, since the beginning. Before there was the Yonim of Darach and Pilpul, and blah, 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 blah. You know, okay, I imagine you have to learn right Pshat. I mean, that's, you know, you know, not to learn, so you don't to learn. But yeah, I mean, you have to know how to read, but... but it's it's so it's so clear to me that this is this is the um, this is how you make malchus Hashem and this is by the way the only way to get gishmak in your learning because otherwise you know like I, I always uh, you forgive my tangent but like I always I always thought to myself like like it's a, you know in yeshivas they learn like eight blot and bottom let's see so like you know so everybody says like. What happened to the rest of the Masechta? Like it doesn't, you know, what about the rest of the see Where is it? You know? So, I mean, like, that I can live with. What happened to the eight plot? <laughs> That's my question. Does anybody know the eight plot two years later? <laughs> Even the eight plot, they learned for a year. <laughs> eight pages, you learned for a year. You think they know it, like, inside? Well, that was eight plot, I know. I don't know the eight plot either. It was just simple Bikiyas. And what do they know? That which they learned probably quicker, and also what they learned, I'll leave it to Hilchasa. So if you learn to leave it to Hilchasa, so um, that's why I'm not a Rashi. Uh, <laughs> but it should be. Hmm? Maybe it should be. <laughs> but, uh, sorry. You have to, but no, you have to have Talbita. Tzadik is a Russian, but Tzadik is a Mizbeah. Not a Tzadik. That's right. It's very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. Because it's Tzadik Yisoyed. Oh, I love it. Tzadik is Midas Ha Yisoyed. Tzadik is not Midas Ha Yisoyed. Yeah. So he says here, Kach Nasa Etzlei B'chol Yoyim by Hillel every single day. So everybody who have a paper have the place. First column, seven, eight lines down. Nasa Etzlei B'chol Yoyim U'v'chol Yoyim Macholei Dugmas Machol Shabbos. The way Hillel ate, same thing on Tuesday, same thing on Shabbos. Mashei Kei Madrega Shammai. Now here's, 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 uh, what about Shabbai? Well, what a, Shabbai, Doing it for Shabbos. Kinoita me Arizal, it's known from the Arizal the Madregosse, that that was the Madrega of Shama. He wasn't the Madrega of Hillel. Mm-hmm. By Hillel, it says when he died, it says, Hi Chosid, Hi Onov. They, they were masked him that this was like something Miuchad, Mamash Miuchad. And, and by Shammai, we don't know what his husband was. I mean, I'm sure he was a great Sadiq, no, no question about it. But um, the Shammai was a different thing. He wasn't able, apparently, to bring it down to earth and and create the Shechina in the same way that, that Hill did, that Malchus based off of. The Lachain, how you captain? Shammai was a captain, right? Everybody knows the guy came on one foot, kicked him out of the house. What? <laughs> It was, it was like, it was, he wasn't a nice guy. I mean, what, what is the, uh, was it patient? What's, what's the, what's the svar there? So Rabbi Sadek says, Kamei Shekaz and Peret Pirush Rabbi Metzia. Do I haya madregas hayon of hay chos et shu madregas hilo Kamei Shekaz avti sham papirish Rabbi Metzia Velchein isa mizmiris oh, ki hilo v'loi kishamai Beishamai is always l'chumra. Put these pieces together here for a second. He's always saying, don't do that. Don't even get close to doing that. Geder, acher geder. He's l'chumra. Ugvulim, he's full of boundaries. L'maysa ha'adam. Sha'ad po tavo. Don't go so close. Why? Because Shammai saw this world, I'm, I'm just saying what he's saying. Shammai saw this world as a, a negative, 
as a, as a deterrent, as a, um, as a, you know, get, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it, it was, it was, it was working against the Shemayim. Mm -hmm. Impediment. 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 Thank you. That's how we saw it. How most Jews, religious Jews, see it, by the way. <laughs> like, gosh, me, this is, you know, an impediment. Ki, ki ilu, um, somehow or another, if I drive a nice car, that makes me less religious. My cashier. What's the cashier? So the cashier is like this. The cashier is, you're so into your car, you're forgetting about God. I, th I just thought it was a nice thing. I was talking to a guy yesterday, a, a lawyer in Baltimore, who was like a partner in this huge law firm, a, a wealthy guy. So, uh, so we're, we're talking, we're talking about something. He comes, called to ask me about those shadows. So, he, so he says to me, um, we're talking about like support that he wants. You know, he's happy to support him. So he says to me, I drive a Hyundai. He's obviously a wealthy guy. That's what he was trying to say by saying he drives a Hyundai. <laughs> so how, am, I, am I pronouncing it good? Yes. He, he said Hyundai. I think here it is. But uh, he says, my Mercedes is parked in four Kailulim in America. <laughs> <laughs> I have one Yugurva out of Lakewood, one coal guy in Baltimore, another coal guy in Los Angeles. Those, that's where my Mercedes are. You know, I drive a Hyundai. It's just like a nice... Uh, Nice idea. But the, the point is that, that to Shammai, there was a shunning of, of Gashmias. Now, understandably, I mean, most religious people take this as a, as a Dover Pasha. To Hillel ben and and as, and as uh, Shmuel says, it's quite a Madrega. To, uh, to, to, to be on the Madrega where um, you see the Mercedes in the driveway, that is Bruchnius. Because now I've taken the Shechina and I've brought it down to the I was I would I brought it down to the level of 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 Kesef, of Ashirus. So Rebbe had a beautiful home. And I'm sure a beautiful carriage and beautiful vessels. I, I, I think, you know, when Rabbi Huda Nasi was sick and, and they were dominating for him and the and the maid came, the famous story, and broke the Kaili and everybody, you know. So, I mean, I, I always think to myself, I missed the point of the story, but like, wow, that must have been some Kaylee. <laughs> if, every, if everybody was in the, in the middle of dominating for Rabbi, and we're talking about Sadiqim, so the maid broke a dish, Basel Tov, like, what's the, why, why is this such a, because he had Kaylee that were like, like they looked like the, the Chazal say, like the Kaylee of the Beis Amikdash, that's the way it came, the Kaylee. Yeah, well, the Rebbe was a, was a Kvir, and he acted like a Kvir. And the, and the, and the Rambam says that if, you're, if you have money, you should never act like you don't have money. And if you don't have money, you should never act like you do have money. Like you should, that's what the Rambam says. You can't. You can't. Oh, you can't. Your credit cards. But, but the point is that what HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us, according to Hillel, is exactly what we have to transform into Rukhnias. The money, we have the car, the family, the kids, every, everything, everything that we have. So, so what we're talking about, and, and that's, that's the, the dream of building the base of Mingdash. So Shammai was full of Gvulim, and the Gvulim is Lechumra, boundaries, don't do this, don't do that. And Hillel was inclusive, because, and, and there was no Machlekes at all, mm -hmm. because, if, it, because if, you're, if you're holding everything to Shem Shammayim, also, Gam Hillel Yaskim was it? Gam Shabbat Yaskim was it? Everybody will be Maskim. It's two Madrigas. Right. It's, it's two Madrigas, but it's not a Machleik, it's been Messias. What Shammai did see is you have some Gashmias. Listen to this. Save it for Shabbos. Shabbos is the time, the Karasal Shabbos Oynik, Shabbos is the time that you can make the transformation. Hillel says, Yoim, Yoim. I could do it right today, right now. Allah Makkah. Shammai held it with a. We're not holding. We're not holding. Yeah. So it was a sort of a, that was a yeah, madriga. So what's Hill is like with Shabbos on Shabbos? Where does he have it? I mean, if he's doing it he all gets, week long. He gets to do Isser Malacha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> if he's doing it all week long, which is a beautiful thing. So where does he have that? Right, so Harry's also says he took a nap. Huh? That's Harry's also says. As opposed to during the week? Like, yeah, opposed yeah. to during the week. So that's what he's doing. Yeah, Mice says more. Shabbos is everybody can do it. So Shabbos is for everybody. And hillos for tzaddikim. L'chein b'chomak in b'shamay l'chomer lois of gedarim gvulim l'mais adam shad poy tavoy. Rak b'shabbos hoye b'madregas brecha. Shabbos he was the brecha v'lekach hoye mamshich hakedush al tanugei yomai chole yoyim hakol. So to him the idea was every day of the week 
let's put a little bit away for Shabbos, the best thing for Shabbos, so now Shabbos becomes Shabbos. Says this is not the right place to explain Shammai, Kefi Madre Gosev, Yemir Tashem Yisbarach B'Makam Acher. Which, by the way, uh, you don't have it there, which is on page um, 63, 10 pages later, where he explains the Madrega of Shammai uh, Barifas. What that was. One more sentence. V'zeh kibol schar l'mi she'agi alu madregas droi shekol yom of Shabbos. The madrega that we're looking for ultimately is everything is Shabbos. Shuhu mayan she'esh le'brecho mayan she'ena poisek b'drachim agulim. No drachim, no gvulim, open, open air territory. Al ha'posek, and that's what Chazal say on the posek, noyach is tzadik. Because noach was the, was, was the Hillel of his generation. And he was Zayin Achameinu. He was thought to be Mashiach because he was able to take everything and turn it into HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Opposite of the Dor Mabel, that's his name, Noach Lashen Nechama Lashen Naifa. So everything comes together and we'll pick up over here.